hello guys and welcome from Lurbogen which is a town close to my home village called Honningsvog, the northernmost city in the world. Today is a beautiful day outside, uh, it's sunny, it's late October and just look at the sun, it's about to go down already. So the thing with the Arctic is that the closer we get to November, the less sun we will see. So from the end of November, there won't be any sun here for two months. It's called the polar nights. More about that later. Today's plan is to go to an abandoned village called Kjellvik. It's situated approximately one and a half hour from my hometown and it's quite a surreal thing to think about that this village here has been abandoned for more than 60 years. There are two ways to go there. One way is to cross the mountains here that we are planning to go. Over the mountains there and there are some tracks that we are gonna follow to get there. You can also do a boat trip to get there, but since we don't have a boat, that's not an option. So let's go to this abandoned, mysterious village. One cool thing with the Arctic region is that you can see this open tundra landscape as far as the eye can see. There are very few trees up here in above the Arctic Circle, which is a very fascinating phenomenon. It's soon approaching sunset. It's almost 2 p.m. and soon the sunset above the Arctic Circle is approaching. Every day the sun will go down 15 minutes earlier until 20th of November and from 20th of November polar nights starts for two months until 20th of January. So practically we have been walking for around half an hour, still have one and a half hour left and Practically, what we see here is just open landscape until we reach the abandoned town of Shelvik. What's quite, again, unique with the Arctic region up in the North, North Cape municipality is that you have snow or you can actually have snow in every month of the year. Even in July you can see snow and the snow that lies here will stay here until next May, maybe even June. The thing with the Arctic is that there are around nine months of snow constantly every year. So that's how the life in the Arctic Circle is pretty interesting phenomenon. And the reason is practically because the sun doesn't reach this part of the globe as strong as the southern part of the continent. We are a bit more than halfway and actually we found out that the track is ending over there by the small cabin. So we have to create our own track because we are actually going down that hill that you see down there and then we will just follow the path which is a very natural path during summertime but but now since it's winter time we have to create our own path the thing about walking in the winter compared to summer is that you have so much clothes
All right, so I'm practically filming with my camera now as my GoPro stopped functioning due to the cold weather. We are approaching Shelvik and it's quite a tricky way to get here because none of the path that we have walked now the last hour has been marked. So we are practically making our own path even down this hill here. You, you see all these animal footsteps. It can be a reindeer. We were previously wondering if it was a bear, but there are no polar bears in North Cape Municipality. So it's most likely a reindeer or some other wild animal. It's a very wild place. So we have a lot of foxes, reindeers, um, bird, a lot of birds and so on. And you can see over to the other side of the ocean there. But we are not we are not looking forward to go back because we know there will be a lot of up hills. But anyway, we hope it's worth seeing this abandoned ghost town of Shelby. As you can see, it's no people there. This town here is practically completely abandoned from any usage. It used to be the North Cape Municipality's uh, main center until Second World War. After 1950s, the Municipality Center moved to Honingsvog, which is still the capital of the North Cape Municipality. So until 1950s, people used to live here. There were approximately, at that time, around 1,000 inhabitants. Until Second World War, the Germans were in control of most of Finnmark. They were practically trying to connect this village here to the other fishermen villages situated quite far from here using this road that you see there so they were trying to connect around the mountain so that there would be a natural path there of course due to the end of world war they couldn't finish their project until very recent days people used to live here i said it was the main municipality center until 50s but people used to live here actually until 2000 so they were practically crossing the mountains or using their fisher boats to go to the stores they were practically crossing the mountain that we just crossed in order to get there even during harsh winter days they had to survive and buy a lot of food. It feels quite creepy to be here because um, there was a television program in Norway on one of the main channels making a documentary about this place here called S Spiritual Power on the Smacht in Norwegian. In 2007, they visited this place and they were 100% sure that there were ghosts living in these houses that you see there. So they say that there are ghosts still living there, which is quite creepy to think about. I don't know if you believe in such stories, but anyway, for those who are easily affected by it, should not sleep over there. So you see these houses here, it's not much left. It's practically just abandoned houses. Maybe some people use it as storage place because maybe there are some heritage houses. But still, nobody lives in this town here, situated on the other side of the mountain. Unfortunately, we don't dare to go there because, as you see, it's quite 
steep and the route is not made for it and it's very slippery even though it's end of October it's very slippery so we will stay here and just embrace the view on the other side of the village you see the end of North Cape municipality and there are practically no sounds here which also makes the whole atmosphere here very mysterious and creepy the only sound you hear here are the bird sounds so can you imagine living here and walk two hours every time you need to go to the store or every time you need to go to pharmacy or doctor can you imagine that if you don't have a boat you're practically lost here the thing is that in this part of the world weather is people are so dependent on the weather so if it's gales or extreme wind outside you practically can't use the boat even so you are practically isolated in that sense that's why people living in this part of the world buy a lot of food every time they go to a store it's time to get back before the sunset hits it's 2 p.m. now and the Sun is going down we don't want to be stuck here while it's dark because it's very difficult to see on the way back when there are no lights just look at the sky here it's amazing it's 2.30 now and the sun has just set above the horizon. We made it back to town finally. We were a bit worried there because the snow started and a slight wind came so we were a bit worried that it would escalate but luckily it did not. Anyway, just look at the sky here. Some of the most magical thing about the northern part of Norway and the Arctic are the colors, especially during this time of the year. It's late October, as I said, polar night starts in approximately three and a half weeks. So it's gonna be very interesting to show you guys how it looks like. Anyway, the trip to Kjellvik was very fascinating for sure practically walk this route that we have been walking now for one and a half hours maybe two hours during winter time it's quite heavy here and my shoes are suck wet from all the snow you're practically sinking constantly when you are walking because all the tracks have been covered in snow during during the winter time I have this abandoned cabin here which is practically more like a shelter there is a diary inside and you can sign up your name telling that you have been uh, this path anyway we are heading back to town it was a very fascinating experience and lovely to see sunset with the beautiful colors above the horizon